563 brave men and women put on their uniform, pinned on their badge, hugged their kids, kissed their loved ones, and said goodbye for the last time. They put themselves in harm's way to ensure others' safety. They did not anticipate that those last moments would be frozen forever in time. So hold tight to those moments. Two weeks ago, I was in Charlotte, North Carolina, spent some time with the families of the eight brave police officers who were shot in the line of duty. Tragically, four of them were killed. They were husbands, fathers, heroes. All of you who serve, for your families left behind, every time you put on that shield and walk out of the house, your family wonders if that call will come or if they'll get that terrible call somewhere during the day or night. The two presidential candidates, Joe Biden, Donald Trump. Biden, honoring cops. And Trump, saluting the convicted criminals who attacked cops at the United States Capitol. Please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. And if I win, we will treat those people from January 6th fairly. We will treat them fairly. And if it requires pardons, we will give them pardons because they are being treated so unfairly. Pardons for the most violent January 6th insurrectionists. Here's what one cop thinks. As a former law enforcement officer, someone who was there on January 6th, the message that it would send to me and, and to the police officers like myself that responded that day, um, our country has betrayed us. <laughs> It's true, some police organizations are supporting Trump. My question, why? I'm Gloria Moraga, political woman. Please subscribe.